Explorers, we are not in Oklahoma, Kansas, and we are going to Big Brutus. Hold on, little trailer. Whee! <laughs> Explorers, this is the Big Brutus trip, and we are here at Big Brutus. And established 1963 to 74, Big Brutus was a non steam shovel, it was an electric shovel, but it is one of the biggest shovels ever made. So, we are here uh, near West Mineral, West Mineral, Kansas, and we're going to be exploring this for you today. Big Brutus, while not the largest electric shovel ever built, is the largest electric shovel still in existence. Fabrication of Big Brutus was completed in May 1963, after which it was shipped on 150 railroad cars to be assembled in Kansas. Big Brutus clawed the earth for 11 years, each bucket enough to fill three train cars. He would zigzag back and forth, filling in behind with what he had excavated in front, and was shut down about a dozen miles from where he started. He operated until 1974, when it became uneconomical to mine coal at the site. A sign notes that his electric bill was $27,000 during his last month of operation. But locals rallied to have him declared a state landmark and turned into a museum. Postcards of Brutus were mailed far and wide. The big earth mover would not be forgotten. Today, visitors can go inside and climb five stories to the innards of Brutus, where they can learn about all his intricate workings. Outside of Brutus, visitors can learn about the many different machines used in coal mining, and alongside Brutus, who was designed to unearth relatively shallow coal seams, which would themselves be mined by smaller equipment. Big Brutus is definitely a cool site worth visiting, as it gives you a sense of, of awe at how we small, frail humans can truly pull off some remarkable feats.
go first. Oh, my. <laughs> and that was a big heavy nope.